Good morning. My name is Anna and I have today's morning reflection for leaders. Instead of reading scripture this morning, I actually feel called to read a poem or part of an essay by a poet, Wendell Berry, who has been one of my favorites for quite a while now. He's a um, he's a Christian, he's a farmer, he's a bit of a revolutionary, and he's a lovely poet and speaking about many things. And this is um, from one of his essays. And I'm reading it because it makes me think about the ways that I've been hearing many of our leaders across the presbytery talk about the ways in which they are having to change and rethink and reimagine in ways that are really exhausting, but also ways that offer these hidden gems of something really powerful. So those things are happening in our churches. They're also happening in our communities. I found a flyer in my door a couple days ago from some couple down the block who I don't even know saying, what do you need? Call us. We'll do childcare. We'll pick up your groceries, etc., etc., etc. So people in communities are reaching out in new ways, trying to care for one another. And finally, uh, in our families, there are these new ways that I'm seeing people texting and calling and writing that we normally don't spend a lot of time trying to connect, not because we don't care about each other, but because we get busy. And not only is there a little bit more time for some people, uh, but also uh, we're paying more attention to who we care about and to what connection really means in our lives in this really powerful way. So I wanted to read this because I think it's a really powerful reminder of what happens when difficulty challenges all the old forms and ways that we have created for what, how we organize our lives. So Wendell Berry writes this. He says, it may be then that form serves us best when it works as an obstruction to baffle us and to deflect our intended course. It may be that when we no longer know what to do, that we have come to our real work. And that when we no longer know which way to go, that we have begun our real journey. The mind that is not baffled is not employed. The impeded stream is the one that sings. And just because I think it's important, I'm going to read that one more time. It may be then that form serves us best when it works as an obstruction to baffle us and deflect our intended course. It may be that when we no longer know what to do, we have come to our real work, and that when we no longer know which way to go, we have begun our real journey. The mind that is not baffled is not employed. The impeded stream is the one that sings. And I think there's something really beautiful and gospel about the idea that it's at the exact moment when we feel most lost and most confused and most stuck out of all the normal routines and ways that we planned to do things that somehow life shows up anyway and renewal shows up anyway and imagination shows up anyway and there's singing the impeded stream is the one that sings so for whatever way this catches you today or ends up sounding or feeling true may it be for you and yours